Hello everyone, it's your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black, the one and only, here with another exciting video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how the RH Negative Super Hybrids Facebook group became the Big Girls Panties Club. Uh, now, I know that title sounds really ridiculous, uh, and I imagine a lot of people are curious what the heck it's talking about. Uh, so, without further ado, let's jump right in. So, when I was younger, I was obsessed with like superpowers and the idea that people could have superpowers in real life. So I found myself getting really into stuff like the real life superhero movement because I'm like, oh, if there are like people who claim to be like superheroes, maybe some of them claim to have like superpowers. And that's how I ended up getting into like the crime fighting stuff and everything like that when I was younger. But I also got into trying to find groups of people who claim to have superpowers and I ended up joining this Facebook group that I completely forgot about over the years uh, called RH Negative Super Hybrids and it's essentially a Facebook group full of people who believe that because they have RH Negative blood that they're like superhumans, specifically that they believe that they're like human alien hybrids. Um, and I don't know why this was started. Like, I don't know why people think that having RH negative blood makes them like an alien hybrid, but there's an ancient aliens episode about it. Uh, <laughs> and the video that has like an excerpt talking about it has over a million views. Uh, and in the description box below, this is from the History Channel YouTube page, by the way, it says, 15% of humans have a rare blood type known as RH negative. See what experts have to say about a possible link to extraterrestrial modification of humans in this collection of scenes from the prototypes. Hashtag ancient aliens. So yeah, stuff like this makes it where people believe that if they have RH negative blood, that they're somehow better than other people. And when I was a kid, I was like, this sounds interesting, like the idea that there are these people who have like superpowers or whatever. So I joined the Facebook group, which is a private group. So I must have had to have asked to join and then they let me join, I guess. But I joined that Facebook group and then I think I almost immediately forgot about it. But coming back to this Facebook group as an adult, I can tell that it's like a really weird group of people. Not only because they believe that they're like human alien hybrids that have superpowers, but also because it's just a space for people to discriminate against those who don't have RH negative blood. And it's very common for people on this Facebook group to talk about people with other blood types as being inferior. So it's just a pretty toxic environment in general. Um, in case you guys want to know what the people on the RH Negative Super Hybrids page believe? Um, let's see if I can grab a post that talks about what they believe in. Hold on. Okay, so this was posted 12 hours ago today where someone tried to explain like where the RH Negative alien hybrid thing comes from. So they wrote out like a history thing that supposedly talks about our connection to aliens and how we got RH negative blood. This is all really silly, but I want to show you guys like what they believe so that you can judge for yourself how silly it is. And I cropped out people's names for their sake of like privacy. But here's what they said. Uh, I'm reading this from the post. I don't believe what's in this post. I'm just sharing it because it's ridiculous. They said, okay, students, here is the information on the RH negative blood groups and how it all happened. Once upon a time in a galaxy far, far away, the Anunnaki aliens were forced to flee their own planet Neribu, no, Niburu, or Planet X, or whatever you want to call it, and they were doing a lot of space travel and planet hopping. Well, they said planet hoping, but whatever, which we know you need gold and other precious metals. So they came to Earth from Mars with these white alien babies in incubated capsules and came to Earth in search. I lost my train of thought. I noticed I got a message from Ryan 
And then I was like, ah, what, what was I reading? I was at White Alien Babies. Yeah, they said with these white alien babies in incubated capsules and came to Earth in search of gold about 50,000 years ago. And that's why they have these gold mines in Africa and South America that date back to over 50,000 years ago. Okay, well, who was digging for gold in Africa over 50,000 years ago? Good question. It was the Anunnaki. And when did the RH negative blood group first show up in the human genome? Exactly about 50,000 years ago. Okay, so the Anunnaki started digging for gold, but mining for gold was hard work. So one Anunnaki says to the other Anunnaki, that sounds so that's like a knock-knock joke. Hey, Pedro, or whatever. <laughs> what a very specific name. This digging is a lot of work. We need help. So the other Anunnaki alien says, hey, what about the O plus monkey people over there? Oh my goodness. Like, that's the weird discriminatory language that they use to refer to people who aren't RH negative. They call them like monkey people. It's really weird. It's very discriminatory. It's like... It's, when you grow up, there are plenty of people who discriminate due to, like, age or gender or race. None of that's okay, but you, like, learn about that kind of discrimination and you're, like, more aware of it. This blood type discrimination, it's so weird. It feels so out of left field and it's so specific. Like, it's, it's like niche discrimination. A lot of times it seems like for like gender discrimination, right? A lot of times, um, if you're like just super masculine dude and you think everyone who's not a super masculine dude is like inferior or whatever, and you have this like weird, like toxic machismo, that's fairly common. There are a lot of dudes. If it's like race discrimination, you can be of like any race and you can discriminate against any other race. If it's like age discrimination, it, again, it's like a lot of discrimination is like fairly arbitrary to where it's like anyone could be in that group. But for this like RH negative discrimination where they discriminate against like people who don't have that blood type, it's only like I think 15% of people have RH negative blood type. So it's like, it's a 15% group and they're like, everybody else sucks. That's such a weird, all, all discrimination is weird, but it's just, it's so specific and it's so niche. And I think it's really odd for people who think that they're like connected to aliens and that they possess some kind of like supernatural superiority or ability. Why is it then that they feel like they need to talk down people who they think don't have set abilities it's such a weird setup like I, I don't understand i don't understand the reasoning behind if you think that you're like super powered and better why do you then feel the need to talk down like other people it's just weird anyways uh I, i'm dwelling on that too much when i read the o plus monkey thing i was like what it just feels so weird anyways uh, continuing reading the statement, they said they look like good workers. And they said, hey, Mr. Monkey Man, do you know how to use a shovel? So they got the O plus monkey people to start digging. But they're kind of lazy and they slack off when they're not being supervised properly. So they need some good supervisors. So then one Anunnaki says to the other Anunnaki, hey, Pedro. It's always the unnamed one talking to Pedro for some reason. Hey, Pedro. We need some supervisors, and I found these O-negative Neanderthals. Oh, that's weird. That's... I... I don't... So when they said monkey poop... What are the... Maybe O-negative and R-H-negative are different things. I imagine they're different things. Because I'm like, they're not calling themselves Neanderthals. Yeah, they like, they specifically are different things, I think. They're essentially shitting on everybody else. Because when they refer to themselves as RH negative, they just say the RH negative blood group 
but if they refer to everybody else, they're like monkey people or they're Neanderthals. It looks like later they're gonna call B plus people Hobbit people. Is is very, it's very weird because it's not racism. It's like bloodism, hemoglobinism. I don't I don't know what kind of discrimination this is, but it's it's oddly uncomfortable. I it's it's very specific and it's also really petty. It's like the kind of discrimination where I feel like they just would assume that most people around them don't fit into their weird alien hybrid club. So they just immediately have this like negative opinion of most people they interact with. Like, I guess w one reason why I'm so taken aback by the discrimination, like the fact that it, I think about the fact that they're like so discriminatory is just the fact that as a kid, I thought the concept was really cool. I thought it was like whether or not they did or didn't possess superpowers, idea that there were a group of people who like thought they had superpowers, I thought was cool. And maybe if you get a whole bunch of people together who think they have superpowers at the very least, maybe they could try to help people and like do good deeds. But instead of them at the very least being bound together by this delusion to try and use the delusion for good in some way, like to try and like help others, it's like become a platform for them to put down others. And I think it's also really weird because if they, it just makes you think, how do they live their day to day life? How do, how do they react to people around them? Do they try to use powers if they really think they have like some kind of alien-based abilities? I also am curious how they feel about stuff like um, Scientology or like UFO religions in general. Are they more likely to believe in that kind of stuff because they feel like they're half alien? I, I don't know. Like all of this is... It's really weird. I still need to finish reading it, but it's, it, you're getting, this is showing you a good idea of how they feel about like other people, but also their own reasoning for why they think they are somehow like special. It has a lot to do with this Nibiru, Nibiru, Planet X stuff that they're talking about. But let's keep diving in. Uh, and keep in mind, this was posted today as someone's explanation for, like, what these people are. And as you can see, people's reactions to it are, like, laughing or, like, thumbs up or, like, hearts. Like, it's mostly, like, support. You would think that if someone within the group found it, like, offensive, that they would, like, put, um, like, the frowny, like, mad face or something like that. And it's not like the comments are going hard, like... Why are you, like, talking down like other people? This is, like, how they normally refer to people who are not RH negative. It's, it's a pretty bad group. But anyways, continuing on. So, reading through from here. Do -do 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 I think I was at the O negative part. Where, yeah, he called them O negative Neanderthals. So I'm going to jump back into reading. He said, I found these... Oh, negative Neanderthals in the cave over here in France, and they seem to be a lot smarter than the monkey people. Oh, is there like a tier list? Is there discrimination, not just everyone who doesn't have RH negative sucks? Is it like people with O plus are like at the bottom, but then O negative is like slightly higher? That's so weird. That's so weird. Like it's getting, it's getting weirder, I guess, like as I'm reading through it because their discrimination was already very niche and specific. And now it's like, it's becoming even more niche. It's almost like Zodiac signs now. You know what I mean? Some people will act as if, it, if you have like a certain Zodiac sign, you're like a certain kind of person. Like I've been on dates with people before who are like, oh, you're a Taurus, like that kind of thing. It's, it's so, ooh. I don't know, it's so arbitrary. But anyways, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, then the monkey people, Cro-Magnum Man. 
Uh, he said he also found some B-plus Hobbit people in Asia, but they were really short and couldn't even pick up a shovel and not so smart, so they weren't really helpful at all. That one was like explicitly ra- well, all of them are fairly explicitly racist too. They're tying these blood types to specific like types of people. So they're like the monkey people they found in like Africa and were like O plus, which shows racism that which shows racism toward like Africans and like African Americans. And then they called the French people Neanderthals. So that shows racism against like French people and people of the O negative blood type. And then they called Asian people B plus Hobbit people. So it's like racism against like Asian people as well. Like it just seems like a really racist group based on the idea of them being human alien hybrids from aliens who came to Earth in search of like gold or whatever. I'm gonna keep reading through, uh, but it, it gets worse and worse as I dive deeper in. My goodness. Okay. So they took the white alien babies. Oh, they literally are like white people have RH negative. That's the thing. I just understood that when they're saying white alien, they're like the the white people. Now it just feels like normal racism. <laughs> it doesn't even feel like it has to do with blood type anymore. Cause because they're just like white people. White people have the thing, so they're they're aliens and they're better. That's that's pretty gross. That's pretty gross. It's like worse somehow. Anyways. So they took the white alien babies they brought over from Mars and incubated capsules and did DNA experiments to make the O negative Neanderthal people better supervisors. And this is why today O plus people are the better laborers and the O negative people make the best supervisors. What is the difference between RH negative and O negative? Because now I don't know. Uh, really gross post. Give me one moment. The gum that I'm chewing is like breaking down. And it's always gross. Not as gross as this though. But I'll be right back and I'll explain a little bit more about the RH negative super hybrid thing and uh, how they're now the big girl panties club or whatever. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So the last thing I did uh, was I tried to explain what these RH negative super hybrid people believe in, like why they think they're like superior and their like origin story that they've given for like where they think RH negative blood comes from. And I've illustrated how the group um, essentially exists under the guise of Oh, look, we're all these like special superpowered people getting together and supporting each other. But in reality, the group is just like another form of racism. It's like sci fi racism, but it's really just normal racism. They just have this weird like sci fi story based around it. And you may be thinking, well, this is just like a random Facebook group. Why would I care about this random Facebook group? This random Facebook group has. 3,525 members, which that image is just bigger here. <laughs> it's funny that when you click on it, it's in much smaller than the preview, but the image preview shows they have 3,525 members, which isn't a ton of people, but that's more people than who are subscribed to this YouTube channel. And if most of the members are like-minded, like, if they all believe in this essentially racist dogma, then it's just a really big racism group existing under the guise of, 
hey, we're like these alien hybrid beings or whatever. And also keep in mind that there have been a lot of people leaving the group as of recent because one of the admins changed the name of the group from RH Negative Super Hybrids to the Big Girl Panties Club. So it must have happened either yesterday or like a couple days ago. When I scroll through the feed, um, it seems like some of the posts acknowledge the name change and some don't. With the most recent post definitely being about the name change, but then as you scroll down, there are some posts that seem to hint that the name change happened before today, but just not everybody had realized it. Like some people were just posting normally. But anyways, one of the admins changed the group to the Big Girl Panties Club. And the reason why they changed the name was they felt like there were certain people who were like too sensitive and they were trying to like weed out the sensitive people. So anyone who felt too sensitive, um, that they thought felt too sensitive, that, whatever. The idea is that if you got offended by the name, they wanted you to leave. So they were trying to like weed out people to get them to get out of the group. Um, and it's had an interesting reaction. Uh, one person in the group said, I'm out of this group. Why was the name of the group changed to something so stupid? Whoever changed it probably isn't an RH negative. Have a nice big panties group. Uh, so this is someone who on the way out had to like reaffirm their weird like blood type racism bias or whatever and go, whoever changed the name of the group probably isn't really one of us or whatever. And then like dips. Uh, but there are a lot of comments like this where people are saying like, oh, you know, this isn't what the group is about. Who changed it to uh, like the Big Girls Panties group? I'm out. You guys aren't real RH negatives because real RH negatives uh, wouldn't do this. Dun, dun, dun. And then you have the people who are like really having fun with it. Uh, and they're joking on the people who hate it. So they're posting stuff like Karening intensifies. There's a big post where someone talks about how um, I didn't know so many people on here were like Karens. And it's essentially like infighting within the group. People being like, you either can like take a joke and you're like a real RH negative and like the name of the group doesn't matter. And then you have people who are like, I can't believe you changed the name of the group. You guys aren't real RH negatives. And they're having this whole like infighting thing. Uh, but the controversy is silly. The group is silly. And the group overall is just kind of a bad thing. As you can tell from like the cover art, they see themselves as these like sci-fi heroes connected through like the bloodline of the Anunnaki who are like superior to like everyone else. But nothing about what they say or what they post reflects them having any positive impact on the world. It's just a platform for discrimination put under the guise of this like sci-fi like template or whatever. Anyways, this is like a really random controversy uh, that I just wanted to bring up. It's really just silly, but it does kind of open my eyes to different forms of discrimination and racism that exist that I just wasn't aware of before. And the weird, like, ways that this could be shaped, like how people can shape discrimination and racism to flavor it, to just be really crazy. Uh, but what are you guys' thoughts? Definitely let me know in the comment section below. If you guys want to talk about any of this stuff, definitely let me know in the Discord. This is really weird. I don't normally do videos like this, uh, but I just wanted to talk about it because it, it just is weird. And also, I don't know who else would be able to talk about it. The group is so small, and because it's private, I, I don't think there are a lot of people who would just already be in this group who could make a video about it, who also would disagree so heavily with the group. Uh, because I joined so early and I was so unaware of what was going on, looking back at the group now, when I noticed that the name was changed to Big Girls Panties Club, I suddenly realized how like gross the group is and how I don't approve of like what the group does. Uh, and I wanted to shed light that like stuff like this does exist.
But anyways, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button, favorite, comment, subscribe, and ding, ding, ding. Ring the notification bell to be notified whenever we do these videos. This is your host, your friend, your boy, Jeb Black, the one and only, logging out. Peace.